Lottery, lottery, lottery. You know, those lottery events in Fake Grand Order, they give you so much materials that you just want to pop all of your apples in there. And some people may not have time. That's why we have Fake Grand Automata, this uh, automatic scripting app that will help you to automatically eat through all your apples and basically get you all the maths without you putting any input. But this requires a lot of setup. Well, not exactly a lot, but it requires some sort of setup. So I feel like making a video to contribute to this community. So let's jump right into it. So in order for FGA to work, we only have a consistent three turn setup. So for me, that would be first turn Arash, second turn Autoria, third turn Mordred. Our support will be Waver. And keep in mind that this is a Lancer node, a 333 Lancer node in the 2020 Christmas event on Taiwan. It's, all, it's also a lottery event and the one immediately after NA's Guildfest 2020. So now that we got that out of the way, let's jump into FGA. So once you got the accessibility service up and running, all those permissions set, you want to make sure you have most of the you want, you want to make sure you have some of those options at the right settings so first your game server i assume you're on na or if you're like me on taiwan just click on it and then you want to make sure that all those are what you want to be if your if your fgo client requires skill confirmation for some reason if you didn't turn it off then you want to turn that one on for me, they just, whenever I click a skill, it automatically applies it without those confirmation texts. So I don't need to have this option on. And if you want to stop on CE drops for those lottery events, you want to check on which CEs and then swap out different CEs so that they can have the maximized drops using those CE drops, then you want to click it on. Or if you just want to have it go through the whole night and you cannot wake up and check turn it off but for now i'm gonna leave it on and if you wanted to screenshot drops go for it and if you are on the summoning script instead of the battling script then you might want to look into friend point summons only or else it might it might eat your sync quartz it might and for now we don't have boost item event so just leave it there and if you want to have a text box for auto skill commands you want to turn this one on this is one of those new updates from i forgot whether it's 19 or 20.0 one of them but for now i'm just gonna leave it off and if you want to have debug mode you can turn it on if you're on a samsung phone then according to those issues raised up in the GitHub repo, you may want to look into turning on this settings. This might help with you Samsung phones. And if you are on Nox, the emulator Nox, you might want to turn this one on. This might solve some of your problems. And Auto allow pausing scripts that could be your in, that could be interesting for you. Just turn it on if you want. And some sort of stuff you might want to look into are fine tune and uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. So for a scripting mode, you want to make sure you're on the right script. For battle, you want to be in on battle if you wanna you if you wanted to automatically roll for ten spins lottery. If you wanted to dry out your friend gotchas, that's the one you want to be. And if you want to crop some support images, support image maker, that one's for you. For me, for me right now, battles. Now we want to have some auto skills. So I already have this one on, but let's just make it from the ground up. All right, and give it a name. As with all inspirational names should be, test one, two, three is awesome. And you might want to go into checking which party it is. I'm just gonna leave it there. And support class. We already know it should be waiver, but I wanna grab 
as many waivers as possible. Someone may put it in all, someone may put it in caster, so I'm gonna click on mix. Selection mode, preferred. My preferred servant is waiver. And I want it to be at max all levels. So click accordingly. And because most of this FGO clients have in-app CE filtering already, so I really I don't really need to set up my preferred CE. And I'm gonna pull supports from everyone, not just friends. So remember we have Modred on the first slot, and then Altori on the second, and the third one is Arash, and the fourth one is Waver. Now you might, so when you go into the command settings, the command settings, you want to make sure that you remember which order the skills you want to be. All right, let's jump into it. So how do we kill the first wave? Simple, Arash, use Stella, 30 MP charge, and add some attack. And now it's the same as a fake grand order client, so you can like kind of compare, you click attack, and Arash is servant three, just use it. Not gonna bother with cards before MP because I know my Arash can kill them. Level 100, grilled, 2000 false, it really helps. And um, for the second wave, we have Waver at Servant 3 spot, so we're just gonna drop all the skills onto Artoria with the Master Skills, that is 20 MP charge, also onto Artoria. Give her the Buster Up and 30 MP charge. Now, attack, Servant 2 MP, next wave. Same goes with Mordred charge buster up kill so now that you have all those servant skills going on you can safely click done and notice that in the command screen in the command this information box we have the command string the string of text that is right here all set up if you already know which command string you want to be you can actually go back, go back, and turn on skill command text box. This way, when you use auto skill and you want to edit it, you can actually just type it in. And the previous maker that we showed you, it's right here. It's this maker. So once you have all those stuff set up, you might want to check out how many refills you want it to use. So in order to enable it, you have to turn it on, right? After you turn it on, then you can try select which kind of resource you want to use. Either all apples, gold, sil gold, silver, bronze. So now once you've set up all the scripts and toggled on the services, let's just jump right into it. And then we're just gonna click on the starting button and start. So it's gonna detect the node that you want to be the top right corner, that node, and then it's just gonna automatically start the game and keep on going. So that's it. That's that's pretty much it. We can just click on click on our own and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and feel free to ask questions here on the YouTube page or on GitHub. I'm going to leave all those links and happy forming. Happy forming.